Welcome guys to another World of Warcraft appearance guide. In this video, I will cover hidden transmog appearances throughout World of Warcraft. Note, there will be more parts and I'm working on part 2 already as we speak. And if you're looking for the hidden class artifact weapons, I have a separate guide series for those here in the corner and in the link in the description below this video. If you want me to go into depth with one of these appearances, let me know in the comment section below or on any of my streams here on YouTube. In a separate video series, I will cover all of the legendary weapons you can get throughout the game separated into classes. Because there's a lot. But without further ado, let's get started. First off, we have the majority of hidden appearances from the Legion expansion. Scythe of the Unmaker is one of my personal favorite hidden appearances. At this point, it's not as hidden anymore, as most people know this very rare drop. Wowhead doesn't even have a drop rate listed. Scythe of the Unmaker drops in its blue version from normal and heroic Argus the Unmaker from Antorus the Burning Throne Raid. The red version can only drop on Mythic difficulty. It is an item which cannot be bonus rolled, and if you want a chance at it, you must bring a class which can use and transmog scythes. A death knight, a hunter, remember survival loot spec on this one, a druid, toggle feral or guardian loot for this, a brewmaster or windwalker monk, a retribution paladin or a warrior in arms or fury spec. It is unclear whether the item can drop on other loot specs, so I suggest you toggle one of the above just to give yourself the best odds. Teishalach is a two-handed sword which drops from Agrama, also in Antorus the Burning Throne. It has a chance to drop on any difficulty and cannot be bonus rolled. Wowhead places the drop rate at 0.12%. For this appearance to have a chance to drop, you must bring your Death Knight, your Hunter, your Paladin, or your Warrior to the raid. Another weapon appearance on our list is Hammer of Vigilance. This rare one-handed mace has a 0.1% chance to drop from Maiden of Vigilance in the Tomb of Sargeras raid. As with the weapons above, make sure to bring a class and spec which can use one-handed maces. Next on the list, I have a series of Legion Assault weapons. These are very rare drops, and honestly, I didn't know they existed until I started making this video. The Argus Decapitator, Phase of Ruin, Eridar Battlestaff, Soul Mage's Spire, Bloodguard's Tooth, Wrathblade, Dread. Vanquishes Hacker, Legion's Edge, Battle Maze of the Niskaran Guard, Niskaran Morningstar, Star of Niskara, Bloodseeker's Bulwark, and Soul Stealer's Barrier. These appearances all drop with a 0.3 to 3.3% chance, depending on the weapon, from all four of the Legion Assault final bosses throughout High Mountain, Valjara, Asuna, and Stormheim in the Broken Isles. The Soul Stealer's Barrier is the rarest drop, and the Eridar Battlestaff and the Soul Mage's Spire are the easiest ones to get. In theory. Ensemble Chosen Dead are weirdly hidden transmog sets obtained in the Trial of Valor raid, a whole set at a time. There are 12 available sets, 3 for each armor type, from the LFR difficulty, the Normal difficulty and the Heroic difficulty. There is also a set from Mythic difficulty, but this set is no longer obtainable. The Raid Finder Ensembles, the Funerary Plate of the Chosen Dead, the Chains of the Chosen Dead, the Garb of the Chosen Dead, and the Vestments of the Chosen Dead can drop on any difficulty from any boss. The drop rate is low, but you can run the raid on any character 
with the specific armor type for a chance. The normal ensembles can be obtained by completing the achievement Trial of Valor, the Lost Army, which requires you to collect a thousand Valashar soul fragments. The fragments are looted from Guam and Helia within the Trial of Valor raid, as well as from any Broken Isles Helijar world quests involving Helijar spirits, like this guy. The heroic ensembles all have a 100% chance to drop from Helia on heroic or mythic difficulty of the raid. So, you can bring one character of each armor type in one day and get all heroic sets. Yay! Bear in mind that all individual pieces of the sets, except for the helms, shoulders and cloaks, have a chance to drop as regular loot from the bosses in the raid on any difficulty. The next hidden appearance takes us to Mount Draxus in the Shadowlands. Here you can obtain the hidden appearance of Sorrel Bane, a two-handed sword stuck in the ground in the Theatre of Pain arena. To obtain the sword you must solve a puzzle which involves obtaining a series of items and buffing yourself up to become strong enough to pull the weapon from the ground. In doing so, you obtain the sword, a pet named Unar's arm, and the achievement Harvester of Sorrow. If you want me to make a guide on how to get this weapon, let me know in the comments below or on any of my streams here on YouTube. Moving on to a series of weapons only obtainable by certain classes. Arsenal, armaments of the Ebon Blade, can only be purchased by Death Knights. They are sold by War Mage Kathleen for 2000 Nether Shards on the Broken Shore at the coordinates 44.4, 62.2. Arsenal, armaments of the Silver Hand, can similarly only be purchased by paladins from the same vendor for a thousand nether shots. Those are unfair prices, don't you think? The Warglaives of Azanoth. We all know these. They are an exclusive transmog for demon hunters befitting of their origin. To get these, you have to go through two steps. One. Obtain both glaives from defeating Illidan Storm Rage in the Black Temple Raid. They both have an approximately 5% drop rate and can drop for Death Knights, Rogues, Monks, Warriors and Demon Hunters, of course. So, you can run the raid on your alts if you want to. Your alts can equip the weapons, but they cannot transmog them. Two. To earn the ability to transmog the weapons exclusively on your Demon Hunter, you must get the account-wide achievement, I'll hold these for you until you get out. This is done by defeating Illidan again in the Black Temple Time Walking Raid during a week of Burning Crusade Time Walking, after you have obtained the two weapons through normally entering the raid. You can complete this achievement on any character above level 61 because the achievement is account wide. After you get the achievement, you have unlocked the ability to apply the transmog to your Demon Hunter's weapon. Next up, we have the Scarlet Crusade hidden transmog. If you'd like to look like a Scarlet Crusader, visit the Scarlet Quartermaster in the Dark Moon Fair at the coordinates 58.2, 80.7. This NPC will sell you Scarlet Crusader Transmog only if you are wearing the Tabard of the Scarlet Crusade, the actual item and not the Transmog. This Tabard drops with a 1.72% chance from Arms Master Harlan in the Scarlet Halls Dungeon. Once you obtain the Tabard, visit the Darkmoon Fair and bring your big wallet. The Cropped Tabard of the Scarlet Crusade can be purchased by any class for 25,000 gold. The male set ensemble chain of the Scarlet Crusade is purchasable by all male wearers for 10,000 gold. And the plate set ensemble scale of the Scarlet Crusade can be purchased by any male wearer for 10,000 gold. 
the very last hidden appearance on this list, for part one that is, is Griftar's authentic troll shoes. This unique feat appearance can be purchased by Dark Spear Quartermaster Ravika in Echo Isles in Doratar for 50 gold. While we can hide our boots through Transmog today, we couldn't in early expansions, and so this item must have been quite sought after. And that, guys, is the end of part one. I had to split the video into several parts, as there are just that many hidden appearances. I guess it's fair, considering the game is 19 years old. Keep your eyes peeled for part 2, which will be out soon. Links to all of the appearances and how to get them is in the description below the video. Thank you so much for watching, drop a like and subscribe, or stop by one of my streams here on YouTube if you like. Take care of yourself and each other. Bye.